welcome back, everyone. Joining me live in the newsroom, I have Mrs. Sherelle Drake. She is the Resource Development Chair for the Boys and Girls Club of Golden Triangle. Mrs. Drake, thank you for waking up with us this morning. Yes, wake up early. Yeah, <laughs> you look really casual and relaxed, and you've got your Boys and Girls Club Almost merch definitely. on. And yes. you're here to talk about what's been uh, what, what's being planned uh, for this weekend for the Boys and Girls Club. So talk about what's happening. So on Saturday in West Point at the Ritz, we'll have our first fundraiser in West Point called Blues and nice. Brews. Um, lots of music. We have four bands planned nice. um, beginning at 5 o'clock. Okay. And um, it's just a fundraiser for our, boys, our Golden Triangle Boys and Girls Club. Very nice, very nice. And so what about tickets? Can you just show up and get a ticket or should you probably get your ticket in advance? You should probably get your ticket in advance. <laughs> we just talked about that during the commercial break, but go ahead. <laughs> yes, you should probably get your ticket in advance. However, if you decide late on Saturday evening that you'd like to come, you can definitely come by. We'll be yeah. more than glad to take you in. Tickets are $40. Mm -hmm. Can be purchased from any board member or either of the three Boys and Girls Clubs in West Point, Columbus, or Starville. Very nice. And so talk about all the good things the Boys and Girls Club does for kids who, you know, they don't have that uh, after school type of setting, a safe setting where they can go after school. Talk about all the good you all do and why people should get behind this cause. Most definitely. Um, the Boys and Girls Club uh, is a safe haven for children. Mm -hmm. um, late nights, parents often have to work, yeah. uh, don't get off of work till 5 or 6 o'clock. So the Boys and Girls Club provides opportunities for children to come and do after school care, okay. um, homework, uh, life lessons. It's a plethora of things that our staff at, at each of the three clubs does and to keep our children safe. So Absolutely. Definitely a great cause to uh, to support. Mm -hmm. um, we're in the process of building a club in West Point, mm -hmm. trying to get our own clubhouse. Nice. Um, Starville is looking to get in a, getting a new club, and Columbus is very well established. Oh, so yeah. We absolutely. want to be like Columbus uh, in West Point and Starville. <laughs> so definitely we'd like for you all to support this great cause. And those again, those funds will be helped to build us two new clubs. Very nice. So um, you've also got some local restaurants, right? Uh, yes. Participating. And yes. I was going to ask, yes. you know, what do you wear to this type of event where there's going to be barbecue? <laughs> well, just wear what you want to wear <laughs> and come ready to groove. Uh, we have four bands, Shank and Main, State of Shade, Artistic, and we'll close out at 8 o'clock with the Bonfire Boys. Ooh. Wear what you want to wear, come for an appetite, and we have plenty of beverages. <laughs> Blues Hence and the bruise bruise. part. Yes, that's the bruise part. I got it. All right, Mrs. Drake, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. As always. All right.